Gaming has been part of my life for as long as I remember. Today I want to dive deeper into my gaming journey up until today and as a result share a little bit more about myself with you all. The very first two consoles I had as a very young child were my parents' PlayStation 1 and their Game Boy Advance SP. We had a silver and a black one. Since I was probably around the age of 5, maybe 6, I don't remember much of what games we owned, only that we had quite a lot of them. My parents loved the Zelda games and I distinctly remember loving a Donkey Kong game very, very much. I believe it is Donkey Kong Land 3, where you can switch between Dinky Kong and Dixie Kong. It's a side-scrolling platformer game. I found out later that it got ported to the 3DS, so I might want to look into getting it for the nostalgia. For the PlayStation, the game I used to play a lot was Donald Duck Going Quackers. It's another platformer game, but this one has 3D elements. The music and sound effects are super nostalgic to me, and I used to play this game a lot with my cousins when I was younger. Two levels that really stuck with me are the one where the bear chases you, that level is basically just a chase sequence, and man did I suck at that as a child. I would frantically push buttons and fall into pits all the time, but my cousins helped me get through it. The other one that stuck is the chicken boss level. It's a classic three hit boss structure, but the fact that it was such a massive chicken was really funny to me for some reason. Yeah, I still really love this game. When I was 7, almost 8 years old, so this must have been around 2012, I had saved up enough money to buy myself a Nintendo DS XL. I got mine in the color yellow, since that's my favorite color still to this day, and my parents bought me some games over the years. At some point I lost the original stylus that came with the DS, but other than that it's still in great condition. A few of my favorite games on the DS XL were definitely New Super Mario Bros. and Mario Kart DS. I've played through both games so many times that I lost count. My favorite world in Mario Bros. is definitely World 4, where poison gets introduced and there are silly looking spiders and caterpillars. I loved to swing on all the vines around the world. For Mario Kart, some of my favorite levels were the Donkey Kong Pass, Waluigi Pinball, and TikTok Clock, which I believe are all also still in Mario Kart 8 as retro tracks. Let me just insert a picture here so you can see which DS XL games I own. Sometime after that, when I was around 9 or 10 years old, my parents bought the Nintendo Wii. I love to play the Mario Kart on there, just like Donkey Kong Country Returns and of course also Mario Brothers but also a Smurfs dance party game. We still have the console, and we also have the steering wheels to play Mario Kart with, but unfortunately our copy got scratched. I love the levels Wario's Goldmine, Toad's Factory, Maple Tree Way, Donkey Kong's Jungle Parkway, and of course Rainbow Road. The Rainbow Road on the Wii version is definitely one of the most evil Rainbow Roads ever made, and I was so sad when I did not get poured into Mario Kart 8. I guess you can't have everything in life. On my 10th birthday in 2014, my parents gifted me a Nintendo 3DS, a red one. The games that were coming out no longer supported the DS XL cartridge size, so I had to switch to the 3DS. Thankfully, I can still play the XL games on both my DS XL and the 3DS. I have both of the DS's still, and I love them just the same. I love to play Luigi's Mansion 2 on there, as well as Mario Kart 7 and Mario and Luigi Dream Team. My favorite Mario Kart tracks for this one are Donkey Kong Jungle, Music Park, and The Shy Guy Bazaar. I'll insert a picture again so you can see which 3DS games I own. And after that, I'll insert a picture of everything together. As you can see, I was brought up with Nintendo games. I loved them a lot and I'm very nostalgic for every game I've mentioned. 
Sadly, I do not own a Switch, but I might get one at some point in the future. I would love to play some of the games I used to play as a kid again, especially now that Donkey Kong Country Returns was announced to come to the Switch in the latest Nintendo Direct. That was such an amazing Direct, by the way. Many good games. I didn't play many games between the age of 14 and 18. Those years were quite rough for me. When I did play, I mostly played my DS games. In 2022, my partner introduced me to Steam. I watched them play a lot of games that year, and I got really interested in picking up gaming as a hobby again. At the time, I only owned a basic laptop, pretty much a potato, and it couldn't really run games very well, so I was hesitant to get Steam at first. In February of 2023, I bit the bullet and did it anyway. The first game I've ever played on Steam was Rain World, and to this day, it is my favorite PC game. The first half of 2023 mostly consisted of Rain World for me, and the game helped me get through a very tough time in life. I cherish it, and I can't wait for the new DLC to come out. I did 100% it, and that was a pain at times. Since I had, and still have, some exposable income on my hands, a whole new world opened to me that I never had as a kid. I could buy games whenever I wanted. I may or may not have gone a little bit overboard with buying games last year, but who could resist a good Steam summer sale? They're so good. This year for me is the year of the backlog, and I'm trying to, at the very least, play more games than I buy. So far, it's been successful. I played through Untitled Goose Game recently, so I hope you're enjoying that gameplay. I did, in fact, around August last year, get a gaming laptop, so I can run games better now, and I'm saving up for a PC right now, so hopefully I will be able to properly play games and the quality of my footage will hopefully increase by that time. Since I enjoyed gaming so much again, I wanted a space to talk about games and my experience with them. I decided to create my YouTube channel at the start of this year. It's been fun learning how to edit and stuff like that and I hope to continue growing here on YouTube. I'll keep sharing my gaming journey as time goes on and I want to thank you all for being here. I'll see you next week with my games I played in 2023 video. Bye bye!